Today we're going to be doing our side seams. Uh, it's going to be an easy one this time. We have our front uh, panel of our leg. Now, before we're going to actually make the side seam, which is this seam, what I want you to do is I want you to baste the pleat line, which is this line right here, because once we attach the lining, it will be hard to access. So now you can still flip this back, and then I want you to baste this all the way along here. All right, so I got my basting thread right here. And I've got a needle, and I'm going to baste this. Basting basically just a way to mark the fabric. So put in a thread and just go in, out, in, out, in, out on that line so that we can see it from the good side. Okay. As you can see, I've basted the pleat line, runs all the way under the lining. Once you're done with basting, pin the um, lining fabric in place, but not at the side where we're going to be doing sewing. It's a little to the middle so that our pins are not in our way. And then flip over your leg piece with the good side up. Now on top of this, I need you to put the back of the leg, good sides together. I want you to align the side seam on this side. And then pin those two together, making sure you also get your lining fabric. When pinning them together, start at the waistband. And then work your way down. We're going to be sewing front and back together at the side seam now. Start at the top at the waistband and with the with the front pocket side up so you can keep an eye on the front pocket and avoid it from uh, moving around. Now seam allowance here is one centimeter so you probably on your sewing machine have these indications of um, distance between the needle and these lines. I have a one centimeter line there so I'm not going to actually be marking the stitch line I'm just going to keep my fabric at this one centimeter line and then I know things will be fine. Once your side seam is sewn, take your uh, pins out and then we're going to be finishing the seam allowance. Now, eventually we'll press the seam allowance open, so each side of the seam allowance to its own side. So we're going to finish the seam allowance individually for the front and the back side. So I'm going to search along this edge and search around that edge so that both pieces are finished um, individually. If you don't have a serger, just put a nice little zigzag there so that the edge is locked. Once you have locked your seam, both sides individually, you're going to be pressing the seam open. When you're pressing a seam, don't just try to put your iron on it and get it to lie flat. Instead, press both seams to one side, then press both seams to the other side. 
you've done that a few times, then open up the seam and press it down. Our side seam is done, it lays nice and flat all the way down to our leg. If you have a look on the inside, uh, rather on the outside, you can see it's nicely pressed, nice and flat. And we're ready to start the next part, which will be the zip.